Hey guys, it's Thursday. I'm so glad to be with you today. Today, we're gonna read a story about cookies. Have you been eating a lot of cookies and sweets this week? I sure have, and I love cookies. Mr. Panda, have you been eating sweets this week? Mm -hmm. Today, we have another friend that's visiting with us today. Mr. Dog, Mr. Dog, have you been eating sweets? Yes. <laughs> okay. The story today is, if you give a mouse a cookie. I love this story. This little mouse is so cute. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. He made a big mess. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep it up. He'll start sweeping and sweeping and sweeping and sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Ooh, he's tired from cleaning the house. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself so comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask for you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your favorite books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. draw a picture. I wonder what this picture is going to look like. Whoa, he's a good artist. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name because all artists sign their name at the bottom of the picture. With a pen, then he'll want to hang his picture up on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up the drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, oh, he's so thirsty. <laughs> so, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's gonna want a cookie to go with it. The end. That's a good story. Do you need milk always when you eat cookies? I do. It's so delicious. Today, I'd like for you to play a game with your parents. See if your mom or dad will make you some cookies. And let's play a game, a matching game. I have a batch of cookies on my pan. This cookie, let's count the chocolate chips, has one chocolate chip. I need to find the number to match one chocolate chip. Is this the right one? No. This is the right one. One chocolate chip to the number one. And that's the way you play this game. Count the chocolate chips. One, two, and then match the number to go with it. You can go up to 10 if you would like. I just went up to five. See how well you can match the numbers. But don't eat these cookies. These are just paper cookies. Hey, we're gonna play a game together. It's called Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? And you might know this game. We're gonna have a cookie and it's gonna go missing. So I'm gonna sing um, to Panda and Dog and let's see who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Can you sing with me? 
Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Is it you? Let's start over. Let's see, Panda's not saying anything. Who, Panda stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Dog stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? 